kings, we will glorify the Lamb. We will glorify the Lord of Lords, who is the great I Am. Lord Jehovah reigns in majesty, we will bow before His throne. We will worship Him in righteousness, we worship Him alone. He is Lord of heaven, Lord of earth, He is Lord of all who live. He is Lord above the universe, all praise to Him we give. Hallelujah to the King of kings, hallelujah to the Lamb. Hallelujah to the Lord of lords, who is the great I Am. We will glorify the King of kings, we will glorify the Lamb. We will glorify the Lord of lords, who is the great I Am. Lord Jehovah reigns in majesty, we will bow before His throne. We will worship Him in righteousness, we worship Him alone. He is Lord of heaven. Hello, and welcome to Verse of the Day. We have Josiah here with me, and I'm Brandon Hathaway, a preacher at the West Side Church of Christ in Owensboro, Kentucky. And I thank you for joining us this morning, today, as we study the Word of God, or whenever it is that you end up watching this. Um, I know I always say today or uh, this morning or something like that, but, you know, we uh, keep the videos up so that they can be uh, watched and we can go back to them or reshare them. And so, uh, so we're thankful that you watch this anytime and we're happy to be able to do this and continuing to bring out the word of God, continue to study it from day to day. And that's the encouragement that we're trying to make uh, as we do these every morning is to encourage one another to, study their Bibles daily. And so today we are going to open up our Bibles to Luke chapter 3. Luke chapter 3. And going to be looking at verses 10 through 14. Luke chapter 3, verses 10 through 14. Josiah here is going to do the reading for us. So let's let him get into that. So the people asked him, saying, What shall we do then? He answered and said to him, he who has no tunics, tunics, he who has two tunics, two tunics, let him give to him one who has none. Who has none. And he who has food, let him do likewise. Then the tax collectors also came to be baptized and said to him, Teacher, what shall we do? And he said to him, Collect no more than what is appointed, appointed for you. Likewise, soldiers asked him, saying, And what shall we do? So he said to him, Do not immolate any, intimidate anyone or access, accuse. accuse falsely and be connected with your wages. <laughs> Um, all right, so looking here in Luke chapter 3, we're talking about John the Baptist. Um, Luke chapter 3, um, it's a listing as he was going out and teaching. Of course, he's uh, preparing the way for the Lord and our Savior. Um, you read verses uh, 21 and 22, it makes mention of those who were baptized. One of them was Jesus. Jesus had come to him and baptized, and we can read in one of the other, a couple of the other accounts of that uh, situation of Jesus coming to John and being baptized by John and um, setting that example for us and of course uh, God speaking uh, down and it makes mention of that here but before that 
as others were coming to John to hear his teachings, and he was teaching repentance. He was teaching people to repent of their sins, to turn their ways, to be ready for the Lord. And so this is some of the things as people came to him, hearing about the things he was teaching, hearing about the baptism of what he was doing. And so here's a few of them who had approached him. And he continued on that point. He continued on that repentance. Um, and that's what you see here. And it's a good example for us today. As they come in, what shall we do? And the answer said, well, if you have two things, you know, you have two coats or you have um, extra food and you got plenty of stuff, you know, you, you got extra, you know, and, and you know that there's somebody who needs it. And give to him who, who, who doesn't have it, to him who doesn't have a food, to him who does not have a coat, to him who does not have a pair of shoes, you know. And, and so, again, it's that uh, mindset of he who has his brother's needs and does not give it to him, you know, where, where is your faith? Where is the love of God inside of your heart? And so, and of course, we're, we're supposed to have love for our neighbors, love for our enemies, and so... We have to be ready to be willing to do good. You know, tax collectors have come also asking, what shall we do? And so he said to them, collect no more than what is appointed for you. So, you know, be just, be fair. It's not that you have to quit your job because, you know, you're taking everybody's money. No, well, that's that's part of uh, submitting under the government authority. And if someone has to do the job and but he's not supposed to take more than what has been appointed. He is not to go forth and, you know, oh, this person's tax and government's taking this, but I want a little extra side for myself, and so I'm going to charge him a little more so I can skim off the top. Um, and so be honest. Be honest in your wages. Again, make sure you repent. Don't, don't continue in sin. Be honest in your work. Be faithful. Uh, do all things as unto the Lord. You know, as we do our work, we do it as unto God, unto the Lord, our Lord and Savior. So likewise, soldiers ask him, saying, what shall we do? He says to them, do not intimidate anyone or accuse falsely and be content with your wages. Again, they could have went around taking people's money, um, intimidating them as they're trying to close a case, trying to, you know, uh, if someone gets in their way, they come up with a false accuse just to throw them out and then to prison um, or to give them permission to, to treat them harshly. And here again, he says, be honest. Do your job and be honest about it. Be truthful. Be kind to others. Don't go around just being rude because you have the sign of the king on your side and therefore you think you can get away with everything. God will judge us in the end. God knows what we have done. God knows where your heart is. And we will be judged according to our actions, according to our deeds. So as John preached repentance, that is the thing that continues today. That we need to repent of our sins. That we need to turn from the ways of the world and be ready to face our God. And so as you read further, it talks about Jesus set that example for us of being baptized uh, so that we know what to do in order to have our sins forgiven, our sins washed away, and that we need to repent of our sins also. It also goes through the genealogy of Christ here at the end of Luke chapter 3. And so if you have time to, to read through that, and sometimes you got to sit back and take your time reading through the genealogy and actually do a little research and looking into the names, and you'll see that a lot of them are brought out that, that we can find in the Old Testament. Most of them, we can find them in the Old Testament. And through those genealogies, of course, they fulfill the prophecy that were made under the Old Testament, being a son of Abraham, the son of Isaac, the son of Jacob, the son of David. And um, you'll find other names through there that, that you might recall through the Old Testament, some that maybe you don't. And then you can it'll help you, push you to go and study those stories also. So I thank you for joining us today. Again, it's always uh, a pleasure to be able to do so. I hope that you'll join me tomorrow as we go into week chapter four. Thank you again. We'll talk to you later.